Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Hour Review. Today I'm going to try the Pioneer Woman Cowgirl Quiche. This one is a buttery pastry crust filled with eggs, Swiss cheese, bacon, mushrooms, salted onions, and chives. Product of Canada. That's good. Um, this was $7.65. Um, we didn't write down where it came from. It was either Kroger or Walmart. I can't remember which one. Um, I don't remember. Anyway, um, it is an 11.1 .1 ounce meal or 314 grams. But I think there's two in the package. Yeah, one quiche and a serving, there's servings per can, there's two. So there's there's two quiches in here. 440 calories per quiche. And there's the uh, other information for you. So uh, preparation directions. So we can do the microwave. If you want a softer pastry, do it here. If you want a conventional oven for a flakier grocery, uh, pastry. Uh, of course, you could do it in the microwave. Probably better in the microwave. I mean, in the oven. But we don't do ovens on the channel. We only do microwaves. So... We're going to remove from the packaging, include, including the tray, remove all packaging, including tray, place quiche on a microwave safe plate lined with, with a paper towel, and heat on a high for two minutes and 50 seconds. So 250, that's not bad. And these are frozen, so just to let you know. I will get it out of here at some point. Now. Okay, so there's two of them like stacked on top of each other. There's no one underneath there. I like the packaging. Has directions on here? Yeah, has directions on here too. So that's cool. So you can just take them out of the box if you wanted to. Um, and you wouldn't have to write down the directions. So I'm going to, um, well, uh, give me one second. I'll be back. All right, so I got a paper towel on a, just a paper plate. That's my microwave safe plate. I'm going to take it out of here. So it says take it out of the tray as well. So I guess we have to take it out of here. Yeah, so we don't microwave it in that either. So there's what it looks like. Pretty pretty good thickness. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave for the what is the 250? Yeah, two minutes and fifty seconds, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I did cut it in half just so I could pick it up and show it to you. So here's what the inside looks like. You can see some bacon and and um, it looks like sausage in there. So uh, I'm gonna let this cool off for just another minute, not too much longer. I'll probably cut it into smaller pieces and I'll be back. I gave it just up another minute to cool off. I did cut it into smaller like little pie shop wedges so I could eat it easier, but that's what that's what it looks like. You almost expect it to be a little runny, but it's not, it's firm because of the eggs and stuff. Um, I definitely get a, the smoky bacon flavor, get a little bit of the egg flavor. The crust is good. It's a little dry, but it's good. And they said a softer crust. I still think it's pretty flaky and crumbly. I mean, I have pieces breaking off. I mean, I guess maybe it's not flaky, but it, it is a good soft crust, but it is a little dry. Sorry, that's um. I said that dry. That crust is dry. It takes a little while to chew it up and, throw, and swallow it. Um, I like the flavors. Um, if you get in the back, see how much, see how much dried out that is in the back. It really dries out on the on the back side of the crust. The inside is pretty good and tender and springy, but the back sides tend to be a little tough and dry. Yeah, still mostly bacon, maybe even a touch of onion. You get the egg. That's it. That's pretty much all it takes. And then you taste the, the 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 crust itself. This one's just okay for me. It's um first of all, it's way too expensive for what you get. I mean, you get two of these for they're basically um, a little less than four dollars a piece. I think it's a little expensive for what they are. Um, there's tons of meals out there that are four dollars a piece that you get a lot more food. And the flavors for these are just okay i mean there's really not um, spectacular flavors there's no real seasoning that i can even speak of it's just just really bacon um yeah it needs it needs seasoning it needs something to umph it up a little bit to, to take it to the next level um i'm gonna give it a three out of five they're not bad by any means but they are kind of bland i think so um so anyway take it as you will try it if you want to i still think you'll be a uh, they're good 
but I think you'll be a little disappointed that the flavors are a little stronger. So hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.